Greetings, logicians. I'm Patrick Smith from over at Disenthrall here to guest host for another Logical Fallacy video. Today I have Missing Data Fallacy for you, also known as the Missing Information Fallacy. This is refusing to admit ignorance to the hypothesis and or the conclusion, but insisting that your ignorance has to do with missing data that validate both the hypothesis and conclusion. The logical form is something like, Hypothesis H is put forward, fatal flaw F is pointed out. Rather than change the hypothesis to match the data, it is simply assumed that there must be data missing that will eliminate flaw F. For example, Jeremy says, Drinking diet Cosi Cola will result in the reversal of male pattern baldness. Rick says, This has never been established scientifically. Jeremy, well, that's because it must be mixed with another ingredient. Rick, which is? Jeremy, they haven't found it yet. Assuming the theory is correct based on some unknown missing data, the secret ingredient, rather than admitting that the whole theory is invalid, is fallacious. Another example would be, Jill says, Scientists have no idea what the appendix is for because they refuse to accept that its function is the source of psychic powers in humans that we have forgotten how to use. John says, Scientists actually now know that the appendix serves an important role in the fetus and in young adults. This is well documented and empirically tested. Jill, This does not mean that it is still not the source of psychic powers. This has just not been tested yet. Well, in order to protect the hypothesis from error, it is assumed, without evidence, that the answer does exist, but is beyond current scientific understanding. Exception. When the data does exist, especially when it is empirically verified, but you just know what it is, it is acceptable to stick with your hypothesis and admit you don't know the missing data offhand, but you can get it. For example, John. The Shroud of Turin was found many years back. This is physical proof that Jesus existed. Jill. You know, John, there is plenty of evidence against the authenticity of this. John. Yeah? What specifically? Jill. I honestly don't know the details off the top of my head, but I can email you when we get back. Thanks for watching. If you want to catch more of my work, you can find me at disenthrall.me.